Well, if you had to pick a disease or a virus for which vaccine ought to work, this is not a bad one because it's pretty clear people who get infected with this SARS-CoV-2 virus, their immune systems, for most of us, manage to fight it off quite effectively. And after a while, the virus is gone from their system. That says it is possible for the immune system to win. That's not true for HIV. People who have been on antiretrovirals for years still have the virus in their system, and that's why the vaccine's been so tough. But this coronavirus ought to be a good candidate, and that's why we're pulling out every possible stop, trying every approach, different vaccine platforms, different companies, and pulling uh, all of the resources together so that we can run the trials as quickly as possible, but safely. One of the vaccines, the one that's furthest along, was started actually at the federal government in our own vaccine research center at NIH, and then worked with a biotechnology company called Moderna to get to where we are now with very impressive phase one results and getting ready to go into a large-scale trial as early as July. That one, of course, we do have some particular uh, stake in the intellectual property. Others, though, come from companies who've invested their efforts in getting them to the point where they might now be ready for a trial. What we want to try to do, though, is we provide additional funds for the trials to be run and for the at-risk manufacturing to be done to be sure that those arrangements are made so that there will be a fair price uh, for that vaccine when it comes out the other end. There is no way uh, this particular virus could have been human designed. When you look at it, you can exclude that. So I wish people would not be sort of speculating about something that's actually been clearly disproven. This is nature's bioterrorist act.